Uh, this is a Boss 25 noise can canceling, and the problem with this, the uh, the speaker on the right side isn't working. That's pretty typical. And uh, came on, and all you have to do is just tear these right off. It clips in here easily. You take a pull at the top and take it right off. And inside is, uh, you can take that off. The gentleman in here uh, says what you can do is put some uh, paper in here into that slot, and it's going to repair the uh, the speaker. Unfortunately, it works for a very short period of time. Uh, what we're going to do is do it properly. And um, you have to have, takes two screws out of the Okay, there's, uh, in order to replace the, what uh, the problem with is the uh, speakers go bad. That's why that paper works very well. I mean, for a very short period of time. And what we have to do is to remove these, these screws. There's one right down here on one side. And on the other side is another small screw. Okay, we're going to take those out. And, um... Okay, there's one. And then we're going to take out the other one. Here it is. The old rascal is pretty small. And then once you do get it out, you have to be, <laughs> don't lose it. After you get those two out, turn them over. I'm going to have to pry it a little bit. This will pry out pretty easily. There it goes. Yeah, it's just those two screws that keep it in there. One screw goes in there and the other one goes there. So that's no problem. Step we have to do is get the speaker out, and the speaker has a screw there, and there's another screw on the other side, so we're gonna have to remove that. What we're gonna do is the uh, protect the electronic a little bit. And uh, we have to heat it up because that speaker has been glued down. I'm going to put the, uh, the heat on the hot and the low on speed on the uh, hair dryer. to be persistent with this thing. That baby was stuck in there pretty deep. Uh, at, uh, it, uh, if you are uh, persistent and uh, keep working on it, you're going to release that glue and you're going to be fine. And just uh, be patient. And just keep working on it and there we go okay there it is we got the speaker has to be uh, heated up a little bit the speaker is really down also of course. see if we can get that speaker out of here Now here's the uh, the new one. New one came in for 28, 29 ohms. And the ohm, let's see. This is the old one here. Apparently it's dead. Okay, we'll go ahead and clean it up with this glue. And then we're going to put new 
glue back in there. Okay, we're going to use this rubber cement to glue the uh, speaker in. Okay, we'll go soldering these things up red to red. Okay, it's a little tricky, but uh, we got the solder on the uh, on the outside. Uh, what we'll do now is uh, turn it on and see if we're, it's actually going to work. Okay, I turned it on and the speaker is working fine. So I'm going to screw down the uh, the speaker case, and uh, we're going to be done. Uh, a few more things to go. Okay, all we have to do is screw this thing down. One screw on this side. Not too tight. This is just plastic. <laughs> okay, we got another black one. Go on the other side. Okay, we'll screw the other speaker down. And two screws, one on this side. Not too tight. Ah. Okay, here's the uh, little gadget you have to put in. It's a switch for the electronic control. So you have to put this, there's a square thing on the end. And this is, uh, so you put over the top of that. There you go. Now that's the way it's supposed to be. And it slides back and forth like that. Okay. Uh, there's two notch here. And there's two, a small notch right there. You have to have the notch there with the notch there. So get that in the right location. There, you can figure it's going to go it's going to go right in just right. Then you can take it all the way down. Once you do that right, then the switch is in the right place too. So then you're in good shape. Okay, we got to put the two screws in this one to get the cover on. One screw there. One screw here, two screws. Okay, good enough for me. All we have to do is put the put that in there. This is a simple thing here. Uh, uh, if you can handle that soldering, you can handle this. Uh, there's eight clips around here. All you have to do is push it around the outside and you'll hear some clipping when it goes in there. So that's super easy. Anybody can do that. Without... These wires are a little tricky too. You have to put that wire in there. It's a specific wire and I could put a link to... I, I bought these from... They go bad after a while and they get cracked and get in trouble. Uh, you can buy a new one, it's pretty cheap. I can put an eBay uh, link for that. Um, so there it is. I, uh, uh, I've i just checked it now and both sides are working fine. And I can put a link for, uh, I usually go for the, uh, the lowest cost on this thing. Uh, if you're going to put a wire in, which you might have to, you might need that. And these pads. I can put uh, links for... Uh, eBay and 
Amazon and possibly that be uh, these speakers uh, I went for the cheapest one possibly you might want a more expensive one but I just listened to more right now and the cheap ones working fine too um, if you're more fussy there are more expensive ones so I hope this is useful and uh, thank you for watching the video